She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Right, so hello, my name is Jade Frost. Okay, so you know how I've been telling you guys how much I love this South African tea. Someone actually commented on my last video saying how all this time I've been, you know, pronouncing it wrong. I can't remember how I was pronouncing it before, but it's called Roybos tea. Anyway, so I'm having my tea now and I'm just about to make some breakfast. to how much like veggies I cut up I just think of how many or how much vegetables are going to cover the bottom of the omelette tiny bit of oil to the pan I'm going to put the veggies first then I add the veggies back into the egg mixture then we have some salt pepper we just mix that up and it goes back all in spread all the veggies around this is when you'd add like cheese but I don't really have any cheese all I have is halloumi, so I might just have halloumi um, separately. So I usually just put it on one side and then I fold over the omelette so that the cheese kind of gets to both sides. I don't know if you know what I mean. I'm just waiting so that all like the parts here that have egg in it kind of cook here as well. Then I know that the whole thing is stable so I can, you know, put my spatula underneath and flip it. Okay, so there you have it. That is my omelette. I used to only crave sugary cereals for breakfast and then I slowly realised that the reason why is because I was thirsty. The milk from the cereal was the only way I was crunching my first. So yeah, now I drink water every morning with my meal. I've just boiled the kettle again and put some more hot water in my tea. So I'm just going to finish this off and go about my day. Okay, so the reason I'm cutting up the sweet potato first is because it will just boil faster. I absolutely hate when broccoli is just way way too soft i would rather it be literally like raw like this than too soft okay so that's the broccoli and potatoes done so in here i've added some cayenne pepper paprika salt pepper just the usual stuff that's just give it a little flavor so i'm just gonna pop the chickpeas right here just adding some feta cheese on there as well just want to add some avocado too. Just pop that on the side here. There you have it. I'm gonna put some seeds in there. So pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. A bit of crunch in there. Now I actually think the best kind of sauce for this kind of salad is like a honey mustard. But I don't have any honey to make my honey mustard. So I'm just gonna use a mayo sriracha. And there it is. Nowadays, I don't have that sweet tooth that I used to, but I do crave salty things. And when I'm craving salty things, instead of having like, I don't know, fries or chips or crisps that I used to, I now add a little bit of halloumi to a nice salad. I'm telling you, halloumi is so good, really nice and salty. And when it's in a salad, it's just, I don't know, it gives it that nice flavor. The rest of it, I'm gonna keep in the fridge for tomorrow. The next day for when I'm just a little bit peckish and I want something to eat. And then just on any given day, I can eat this with any kind of cheese. I can eat it with chicken. Then I made some spaghetti using some spelt pasta. I made it extra spicy and then put some in a bowl and save the rest for another day. Morning. Well, is it really morning? So I've already worked out, already gotten ready, I did my taxes. Well, when I say gotten ready, I mean um, I've done my hair and makeup. I haven't gotten dressed yet. I'm gonna wear, um, I don't know, something random. So I've done plenty of things today except eat. So let me get some breakfast. I put in some makai in here. So there's a tiny, I don't know if you can see it at the bottom. When I have sugar cravings, one of my go-to things is a smoothie bowl. I always like to have it in the bowl form instead of like an actual, you know, drink drink because I like to just scoop it out. I feel like it's more satisfying. And I've also added some apples because they're like a crunchy fruit and, you know, I like a bit of crunch and texture to my food. And then, yeah, I've added some nuts, especially some walnuts. I feel like walnuts go pretty well with apple. Like I was saying before, sometimes cravings aren't always like a bad thing. Sometimes I feel myself craving like a beef burger and the reason why is because I have quite low iron. So it's like my body's natural way of saying, you need some iron. Now I know burgers aren't necessarily like, you know, the healthiest thing, but I feel like there's nothing wrong with having a burger sometimes. 
I don't think it's great to brand certain foods as being like off limits because I feel like that kind of fuels the cravings. It's better to say, yes, I could have this, but I'll have it at another time. I'll have it later and not so often. I will say though, my burger is actually healthier than your average burger because it's a black bean and quinoa burger. I can still get the iron from the black beans and I actually enjoy the black bean burger just as much, if not more, than a beef burger. To stop cravings for things like crisps or just unhealthy kind of junk food snacks, I always have things like olives or edamame beans around because they satisfy that salty kind of craving. How are you guys feeling in terms of like fashion and how, I don't know, things are looking because I feel like nothing is really inspiring me. I look at my wardrobe and I'm literally wearing maybe four pieces in my wardrobe that I actually like. So the hat that I got from Germany in Würzburg. This hat has, let me just show it to you. So the lining inside is all like super warm. And then jacket wise, I'm wearing this jacket that I got from ASOS. I've got a little cardigan underneath because it's not super warm. And these shoes there from Zara, they've got a little flare heel on them. So yeah, that's my outfit for today and I should be warm. I'm getting ready to have some camembert on toast, which I've like really been into nowadays. I don't know why. See, I don't know if you've realized from my vlogs, but I do love cheese. And right now, camembert is really doing it for me. I have a half of this spread. So it was a whole loaf. I cut it in half and I had half of this yesterday night. I would definitely eat that. But for now, I think I'm just going to concentrate on this half. I put my onions on just because I want the onions to cook quite a bit. There's a bit of olive oil. And then we can put this into the grill. And then with this little bit here, I might just put on some butter and have that to myself. So I've added some salt and pepper. And then that there is my cheese toasty. So I've eaten most of the actual mango and this is all that's left, but this is my <laughs> snack for now. So I have mangoes, I have some passion fruit, apples, and some very dark grapes. I'm not sure why I bought these. I actually like um, green grapes. I think I'm gonna add some yogurt to this and just have a good old yogurt bowl. I'm having a protein smoothie right now, so I put in protein. I use the gold standard whey protein. Add in a nice little metal straw, and then yeah, this is my smoothie. Okay, is this gonna stay in focus? Okay, so for me, one of the most important things, if not the most important thing, is meal prepping. Because if I don't plan, I'm probably just gonna eat whatever I'm craving right then and there. Sometimes when you want um, sugary things or processed foods or just, I guess, foods that are not so good for you, it is because of things like an emotional attachment to the food, maybe like a, a binge eating situation. But sometimes it is literally because it's easy. Annoyingly, that is just how a lot of the world and a lot of the Western world is right now. And so for me, I've just made it easier to eat healthy. And what makes it easier for me is meal prepping. And even now in, with this salad, you can see it's the um, salad that, I, well, I don't know if you can tell, but it's the salad that I made the other day. And then I've just added to it. So I've added some halloumi to it. I've added some sweet potato. I've added avocado was in there too. It's just a different, well, slightly different type of salad. And it's not just halloumi, I could add anything to it. I just have the halloumi because again, I've kind of planned that. I knew that if I got some halloumi, I can make at least what two, three meals out of that. Failing to plan is planning to fail. You have to kind of have some idea of what you're gonna eat, not just wake up and be like, okay, what am I gonna eat now? And then see. If you know for a fact that your whole house is just full of junk food, you cannot just wake up the next day and think you're gonna eat healthy. I try and plan my weeks or plan a few days because in the past I wouldn't and then I would just end up um, getting a takeaway, like a Chinese takeaway, and then kind of feeling like, oh, actually. When really I could have made the same thing at home, a bit healthier. Anyway, I'm gonna have my lunch. The very last thing I ate, I didn't cook myself, I just ordered some sushi. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like it and consider subscribing. Here is a very random video of me last week eating Chinese food. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.